Welcome back to my channel, Test and Measurement People. So today I have a small and a good looking multimeter. Its brand name is Sigma and the model number is SG888L. Uh, so here uh, is the box packing and all the specification they have write it down over here only that it's uh, uh, AC, DC voltage, uh, DC current, resistance, backlight, data hold and continuity. So it's a basic type of multimeter which is not having any AC uh, capable to measure a AC current on a frequency and it's a mean value uh, multimeter and uh, you can also see one thing that uh, they have written full range protection so we will see to it that what is uh, the meaning of full range uh, full ranges protection it does means that it is having uh, protection in, uh, in this multimeter if you are doing some wrong work uh, or some wrong connections are there then it has the protection part so uh, without wasting any time, we'll start uh, the demonstration of this multimeter. So here's the uh, multimeter. It is having only three things inside the box. Uh, the multimeter, the lead set and the manual. So the manual, let's see first the manual. Manual have all the details. It is saying 600 volt DC. 600 volt AC, uh, continuity, diode settings and the DC current and the resistance of up to 2 mega ohm. Uh, so that's it. This, this is the multimeter. So it's, uh, it's a good size of a multimeter. It's not a, a too small size of multimeter or too big. It does have an, a hostler. Uh, this blue color you can see is a rubber hostler. Uh, which protects the instrument from falling when it does fall down uh, it, it protects the instrument so it doesn't get any damage the screen or the back side or something or the circuits part on inside so uh, and this is the lead set I must say that uh, uh, Sigma people do have a decent type of lead set as compared to the other manufacturers which we have seen uh, they don't provide a good quality of lead set uh, the lead set does uh, get damaged in around one to two months of usage only. So uh, let's start the demonstration of this multimeter. Inserted the lead sets uh, onto the instrument. Let's start with it as the back stand. And I'm having some of the samples with me. So here we can see it's a AC voltage. Firstly, I will show it to you. Is a AC voltage? It is having two points. 200 volts or 600 volts AC then on DC we have uh, millivolts uh, 200 millivolts and up to 600 volts now since you can see here's a continuity diet checking then uh, it's a resistance part and it's going up to 2 mega ohm then uh, uh, here you can see the current uh, DC part uh, they're having a 200 micro ampere range also uh, which you uh, won't be getting any Thing in the mm, other models but they are having a least point also of 200, uh, 200 micro ampere you can measure it over there and this is up to 10 ampere so firstly uh, let's see the resistance part I'm having a resistance with me and uh, here it is it's a 10 kilo ohm so it's, a f it's doing a fast response on 12 and uh, this is our around one kilo ohm so we have to go into that range to get the exact reading so here it is it's going up to one kilo ohm now i'm having a dc battery with me it's quite old one so here you can see the results it's around 7.36 volt dc so it's a fine thing and uh, of uh, voltage going on to the AC part it is see it is showing uh, a line also which is confirming that uh, it's a high voltage of AC so here it is it is showing 229 229 volts of AC is coming and uh, uh, let's see the current of this battery as uh, you know that the battery is uh, uh, old one let's see if it's in milliampere or in ampere one so it is showing around 10 milliampere so that's it and uh, i have seen and open the instrument also and i have seen uh, the circuit also 
it is having quite a good protection inside if you are doing it wrong reading means if you are uh, onto the resistance range and you measuring current uh, then it is having a sort of a limit protection uh, which will save you from doing wrong work and if you have any question kindly do write it down in the comment section box i will uh, try to reply it as soon as possible so that's it for today uh, the meter is good uh, the quality of this meter is very good and uh, let's see if you are having some question do let me know uh, that's it like and subscribe my channel and do uh, join me for more other uh, demonstration of new instruments thank you